Hi, I'm Erica Mather, and this is Stuff I Learned at Yoga. And today's entry is about the difference between embodied knowledge and intellectualized knowledge. I first became aware of the difference between these things. I didn't really know I was aware of it, but I was in my body uh, as a musician. And you know there are certain things that that you just know how to do, not because it's something you know in your brain, but it's something you know somewhere else. Like How do you tie your shoe? How do you play a musical instrument? How do you walk, for that matter? So in yoga, my teacher has this phrase for, for those of us who like to think, and we're called extreme thinkers. I'm still an extreme thinker, but yoga, at least the practice of it, the physical practice is it, brought to my awareness in a very distinct way what is the difference between embodied knowledge and intellectual knowledge. There are certain things that you just can't think your way through. There are certain things that you can't feel your way through. So both things are, are worthwhile to cultivate. The way that you begin to learn how to feel and to understand what it is that you know by feeling is through the practice of yoga. There are certain things that you will understand in your heart and your gut and your soul and your spirit, but to Generate this skill requires just as much application of your discipline as does learning how to add, as does learning law, as it does to construct an argument or cook. Although cooking, you know, we might argue is one of those things that kind of traverses embodied knowledge because it's, it's a skill set that is passed from person to person, sometimes well, done well through something like a, a cookbook, but more, more efficiently and authentically achieved through person-to-person -person contact. Anyway, find out what things you know through embodied knowledge and what things you know through intellectual knowledge and figure out which piece, which skill set works well in what situations. I can help you with this, but you know, I want to keep this short. <laughs> and comment in the video below if there's something that, that you find out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Erica Mather, Stuff I Learned at Yoga. Bye for now.